The Durier Motor Wagon Company, established in 1895 in Springfield, Massachusetts, was the first American firm to build gasoline automobiles. History Founded by Charles Durier and his brother Frank, the company built the Durier Motor Wagon, a one-cylinder four-horsepower car, first demonstrated on September 21, 1893, in Springfield, Massachusetts, on Taylor Street in Metro Center. It is considered the first successful gas engine vehicle built in the U.S. In 1895, a second Durier built in 1894, driven by Frank, won the Chicago Times-Herald race in Chicago on a snowy Thanksgiving day. He traveled 54 miles 87 kilometers at an average 7.5 miles per hour 12 kilometers per hour, marking the first U.S. auto race in which any entrance finished. That same year, the brothers began commercial production, with 13 cars sold by the end of 1896. Their first 10 production vehicles were the first automobiles sold in the United States. Banking on the idea that future racing successes would propel their market share, the brothers entered two vehicles in Britain's London to Brighton veteran car run. Frank placed first and beat out the nearest competition by 75 minutes. The brothers went their separate ways by the end of the century, over a dispute for financing that would have required moving the company to Detroit. Frank helped produce the Stevens Durier at gunmaker Stevens until 1927, while Charles produced Durier vehicles as late as 1917. Based in Reading, Pennsylvania, it was not uncommon for residents to see him motoring a brand new automobile from City Park out to Mount Penn, managing the switchback road as a final test of durability and refinement. Charles Durier moved to Reading in February 1900. By 1901, Durier and Sternberg incorporated the Durier Power Company for the manufacture of iron, steel, bath, any metal or wood or both, including automobiles, motors, propellers, and part of either." By March 1902, after overcoming difficulties procuring factory space, and a devastating flood of the Schuylkill River, Durier was manufacturing one three-wheel, three-cylinder, gasoline-powered automobile each week. Most buyers were doctors, who enjoyed the power, reliability, and heady 20-mile-an-hour top speed of his vehicles. By 1905, Durier's 50 workers were manufacturing 60 cars a year, including the four-wheel Phaeton, which soon sold for $1,600. Durier's automobiles were a success, but a fight among the company's partners led to collapse of the business in 1907. Undaunted, Charles Durier designed a new automobile with significant design innovations, including a two-cylinder, air-cooled engine, which he named the Buggio. Manufactured in a garage at 32 Carpenter Street, the Buggio was an inexpensive auto with large wheels designed for rural markets and unpaved roads. To make the car affordable, Durier introduced a simple body design, mounted on the side bars of the chassis, in usual buggy fashion, that made the Buggio light and easy riding. The two-passenger model, complete with top, sold for only $700, but the Buggio never achieved the success that he had envisioned. In 1914, Durier closed the garage and left Reading. In 1916, eight years after Henry Ford introduced his Model T, Durier made another attempt to produce his own car for the people. With financing from Kaiser Fry of Reading, he created the Durier Gem, a cross between an automobile and a motorcycle, with a newly designed engine and suspension. 
advertised as the biggest idea in the history of the motor car and the last word in automobile construction. The Durier Gem combined the comfort and stability of an automobile with the simplicity, handling, and economy of a motorcycle. It was also extremely affordable, costing only $250 and boasting an impressive 65 miles of driving per gallon of gasoline. Once again, however, lack of funding forced Durier to drop the project, with only six being thought to have been built. The Gem was the last automobile built by Charles Durier. Although Charles did discuss with Frank Durier the building of the first commercially successful American automobile, Frank was the actual builder during their collaboration. He did correspond with his brother Charles regarding what did and did not work in the design. Charles left Springfield in 1892 before construction began. This was documented in transcripts during the Selden Patent Trial. Boyertown Museum of Historic Vehicles in Boyertown, Pennsylvania hosts an annual Durier Day Antique and Classic Car Show, which features an extensive collection of automobiles manufactured in southeastern Pennsylvania in the early 20th century. Since 1951, the SCCA has sponsored a biannual Durier Hill Climb race in Reading which traces Charles's original test route. See also Buckeye gasoline buggy Durier motor wagon Durier power List of defunct United States automobile manufacturers